How does setting goals prepare your child for an Ivy League school? We have a son at Stanford and a daughter at Harvard. Today, we will share with you how we did it. I'm Alema. I'm G. And, and this, this is, is Money Wheel Life. Life. first time here please consider hitting the subscribe button below it's free and if you're joining us again thank you so much for watching Geraldine have you seen my phone your phone yeah you know what time it is I don't know like nine o'clock it's time to talk about college <laughs> okay Lema has a point there Lema is right it wasn't like our kids woke up one morning and said hey I'll apply to Stanford and Harvard any parent who gets a child to this point in their lives realizes the preparation it takes. And so when is the best time to talk to your child about college? So when our kids were young, I knew that uh, I had to set them up. I had to set them up to get into the, the grind mode. So this is what I did. We got them a desk. We got each one a clock. And then we got some goals. So we'll get a desk, get a clock, and get some goals. <laughs> I love that. Get some goals. I mean, when you're really looking at goal planning, it has to start with your child. Um, I know for us, setting goals was important, but it had to come from them. So why a desk, Alema? Well, we set up the desk because you need to set up a designated grinder area. This is where they go in and they put their head down and work. Um, we wanted to make sure that we honored that as well that when they sat down to grind, we protected their time, allowed them the opportunity to just relish in the, what they were uh, about to achieve and the things and the work that was needed to be done. We wanted to, as a family, that's where we could support. It's really important. So why a clock? A clock because there's only so many hours in the day and you do need your time to sleep. You do need time to eat. You do need time to fill your cup. But then there's always time that you set aside to grind, which is to go and, and, and be focused and to work. I think time management is one of the hardest concepts for college students, right? Now that they're out of the house, they're like, woohoo! I don't have to go to bed at a certain time. I don't have to be home at a certain time. I don't even have to go to class, right? <laughs> if I don't want to don't have at to. a certain time. But I think what Alema is alluding to is that we're not going to be there in college, right? And so if your kids can't parents, take ownership. Parents, parents are not going to be there. Yes, right? parents. <laughs> parents are, the kids got to be there. But I think our kids need to learn to take ownership of their lives, of their time, of their goals. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about them and what they execute versus mom and dad telling them, okay, it's time to do homework. Okay, it's time to go to bed. Okay, it's time to wake up. But those, those concepts need to be instilled at a young age. You can't have them graduate from high school and then figure out, okay, now I'm at college and I've got to manage my time. The earlier you can instill time management, the better. The earlier you can even distract them with other activities and yet still have to achieve the things that they need to do, we want them to know how to get things done, really, yeah. to be doers. I know for us, life was a little different. And so we didn't have, I didn't have the bandwidth to micromanage my kids' education. My kids knew that there was a certain standard that we wanted to uphold in the house and they had ownership in that. Um, not everyone works the same pace, not everyone has the same motivation, but I think that's one of the things we did highlight was we celebrated um, their wins and we recognized them reaching goals and so that positive reinforcement just instilled in them a need to achieve right it allowed us to celebrate all their achievements no matter what their achievement was we know we have children who have different levels of abilities motivation but we made sure we celebrated each of them as you're setting goals with your child you'll also recognize that you have to work as a team 
And being in a family means limited time and limited resources. And so I know as busy as we were in school, working full time and trying to manage the kids, we had to trust that they would own the process. One way we instilled the process in them was to have a whiteboard yeah, sharing with you what we built to kind of bring structure to the whole family game plan. So at the top, you'll see um, the days, days of, of the, the week. week. And then along the side are the names in your families, uh, members of your family. And then you have the goals. Now, these goals here are really what we would be working on for the semester. Um, you know, dad's at work, mom's got to prep for camp, we've got rugby, we've got the Eagle Scout um, preparing for the mission. So those were the goals that you're working on for the semester. And then at the top, you see the activities that all of the family were, would participate. So we'd have... The weekly schedule. The right? weekly schedule. Things we focus on each day for the week. Things that would stay the same, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then at the bottom is actually a calendar of the month. And in the calendar, you're um, mapping out the activities and really kind of identifying where your time is spent. Because at the end of the day, as you're mapping out all of these activities, if they're not hitting or helping you reach the goals that you're working towards uh, for that semester, then you kind of have to take a step back and again, kind of do some tweaking and adjusting there. We encourage you to, to find um, an instrument, a tool that will help provide direction um, towards your goals and focus the kids on what's most important. I just want to add that, um, man, you can't do everything. And there's some great activities you can be involved in, but there's only one or two that you can do well and really get the you need out of it. So what was great about this tool is that this also showed what we chose. It shows that we chose certain activities. That was number one, we prioritized, right? That means we eliminated a whole bunch of other activities. And then the second thing I wanted to point out was that because everybody knew the calendar, they knew what day, what activity was, was going on, the rest of us could actually carve out the time to come support. Whether we could come be at a, a game or be at a rehearsal, performance or rehearsal, we can go out and, and um, know what time we have available in our own days to go out and support and be with family. It's exactly right. You know, when you're looking at reaching goals, it's not just the individual, it's the family. And so you have to be able to manage your time as a unit, manage your resources. Could we afford everything our kids wanted to do? No. <laughs> so we had to, again, like Alema said, kind of prioritize where we could put the most resources and actually get the best return on investment. Because at the end of the day, you know, you want everyone to succeed. You like what we've been talking about? Please hit like, subscribe, and do share the video with friends. And also let us know what areas we could address that will help build your family. Be sure to join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Money wins.